Shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakadash, double honor to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Salutations to the house of David, okay, to the men, women, and children predestined for the kingdom, particularly the men who go out to the highways around the four corners of the earth. You know, to the speck of birds who have preached the kingdom and made their bodies a living sacrifice. You know, Shalom. Also, Shalom to your few sisters that are learning from the elders on the comic board. Okay? And I mean few sisters. Okay? Uh, I'm going to go into a lesson, a very small lesson. You know, I'm not going to be with you long. But, uh, the title will be the word gather the Israelites okay the word gather the Israelites so with that being said you can't judge by carnal means you can't look at a man woman and child and say that that's a heathen by way of carnal means okay meaning with your eyes you know you see a person and you'll say hey, well that's an Edomite well it's the spirit that you know you got to remember the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 64 stated that the Israelites will be scattered across the four corners of the earth. Right? That means they're going to speak different languages. They're going to eat different food. They're going to be involved in different cultures. Wherever slavery uh, that we was in, we took on that culture. We took on that nation, the, the culture of that nation. Okay? So you can't use your carnal mind, right? Uh, what proves that is the wheat and the tear parable. Okay? And it, uh, you just gotta learn, go read it and learn that breakdown, the wheat and tear parable. Okay? With the the wheat, right? It's pertaining to the Israelites. And the tear, the tares is pertaining to the children of the wicked. But the scripture also say that the, uh, the tares were sold among the, uh, the wheat. Right, which mean uh, you may you may see uh, someone uh, that you would think that's a typical Israelite, and they might be Edomite, and likewise, you know, brothers, you, some of us, us brothers use the term you know chocolate covered Edomite, or you might look at a brother and look at his skin tone and think that he's an Israelite, but if you do, if you know his lineage may go back to. And actually, uh, Edomite, which is the adversary of the Lord. So, my first precept that I'm going to bring out is uh, Baruch 4 and 36. Old Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. Okay? Alright, and that's ultimately Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his elect, and, give, and guess what? The kingdom is going to come. You know, we're going to be joyful when, when we, you know, go back to our homeland. Okay? That's when the rest is going to begin. That's when an adversary will never come up against us. Okay? And the kingdom of heaven is not going to look one color. Okay? Alright? Baruch 34 and 37. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. You see? They come together, they come gathered together from the east to the west, okay, by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Most High. You see that? So the word, the point is the word is actually gathering us at this present moment, okay? You have men all over the world that are standing on the corners, as the scriptures say in Proverbs, uh, so like the scriptures say in Proverbs that wisdom cry of without she uttereth her voice in the streets so that's where the prophets of the Lord will be not pushed away or shut up in the building to where you you know you, you won't be able to see them the scriptures say your eyes will see your teachers right a lot of them do videos you may see them in videos and, and mainly on the four corners of the highway, man. All over different cities and different countries. Okay? And they're not going to look one color.
okay? You have people mistaken, you know, judging by carnal means. And uh, you may see someone of a lighter skin with straight hair and they look close to the adversary, okay? But that person may not be an adversary because they spirit, it's about the spirit, okay? The, the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High and we're going to get that. So you can't judge based on a carnal means. You can't look at a person the most high way to heart. And we, we supposed to do the same as well. Okay? You know, all of the children of Israel is not going to look like Kodak Black, Wesley Snipes. Okay? Lil Boosie. You know? Uh, the scriptures say that Ephraim is a cake unturned. Okay? Which means that it's light on one side and the other side you flip it over. It's, it's dark on one side and then you flip it over. It's light on one side, you know. Uh, let's get this in Romans 8. 8 and, 8 and 16 real quick. Romans 8 and 16. That's what I just stated. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Okay? So it's actually the spirit, which is the with the word, the scriptures. You know, uh, it's set up by the heavenly, you know, the heavenly host, the heavenly father, that he, you know, uh, that his apostles would go out to the four corners of the earth to teach the word. Just like in the book of Acts. Alright, the apostles were sent all through Cyprus, you know, uh, Joppa, all of these other kingdoms, you know, Thessalonica, okay, Ephesus, okay, and these places where uh, Israelite has been Hellen, Hellenized. Alright, so he had to go to these different provinces and write, push forth the word. And guess what? They accepted it. You know, some, you know, a lot, uh, you know, some accepted the, the, uh, the scriptures, man. Through the spirit, it's a spiritual thing. Because, you know, if it's about a black thing, then why ain't the majority of our people? Why ain't the majority? And I'm, I'm just talking about my people right now. You know, the Israelites. You got a lot of Israelites that can't, they, they can't get this word. And they of the seed of Israel. You know, the word ain't for the other nations. But they're going to be scattered in those nations. And would prove they're Israelite, they'll hear his word. Okay? So it's actually the spirit. Let's read that again, Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. You see that? And that's how the Heavenly Father designed it. You know? That's how you know this whole walk is a spiritual walk, man. Your whole belief is spiritual. It's majority spirit, man. And it's a spirit while we, you know, put on these garments and go out and prophesy. Because your spirit resonates with what we've been taught. And now we built ourselves up to the point to teach it. Every, it's, a, it's mainly spirit, man. You have to do your studying. Okay? It's a lot of things that you can learn what happened to the Israelites. You know, uh, the history. You go to the history. Geography. All of this stuff proves it. But first we had to hear it, you know, from whom the Lord set up. And you and, and you know for the ones who believe it, it's spiritual, man. Okay. And this is a simple scripture, man, that I'm getting ready to get. We go through it all the time, man. But we, that's what we are, man. We messengers. We have to. Some days we may have to bring out the same scriptures, you know. Let's go to here, uh, John ten. All right. Man, I really can go through all this. Let's just get straight to the point. Alright. Uh, John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. Okay. And I know them. And they follow me. That has nothing to do with the way you look. 
Okay, you're gonna hear the voice, you, the sheep, just like you know your mom and your dad voice. When you hear it, if if you sitting in a room and you don't see them, but you hear a familiar voice, you're gonna start looking around. 